In the cutthroat world of pop music, it's easy for aspiring talent to go unnoticed. Birmingham Songwriters Cafe is a step in the right direction. Take it from someone who knows. Some of the first gigs that we did was this kind of acoustic setup, you know, just almost like to get our confidence back, and that was, I think, in about 93. Um, so I've always liked doing this kind of acoustic thing, because that's how I started off. When you're giving her a still away, everybody lets you pay. Saving up for a better day, seeing things in a better way. When you know you got to live, but there's nothing you won't give. You hear the phone and I let it ring every Monday. Simon regularly takes time out of Ocean Colour Scene's busy schedule to return to his roots and check out Birmingham's underground music scene at the Songwriters Cafe. He's not the only one. It's not uncommon for crowds of up to 200 people to turn up to view some of the region's most exciting musical talent. Just gives you that drive and that, you know, competition, uh, which it's, it's very inspiring, it really is. And every night brings me up to a dozen performers of all abilities can be found here every Sunday. The cafe provides a unique environment for artists to play new material to an appreciative audience. Paul Murphy set up the cafe and sees the city's community of songwriters as something to be nurtured. A song isn't really born until it has a public performance. I started playing the songwriters at the very beginning and it's grown and grown to this and this brilliant showcase. It's a wonderful opportunity to be able to like play to a wide spectrum of people, obviously, because the audience is so varied. Um, it's a nice atmosphere. You feel relaxed. Sometimes you feel the audience feel just as important as the uh, actual performers. So tell me Who would have believed that audiences of over 200 people on a Sunday afternoon would gather for four hours to listen to original material? The Songwriters Cafe is great because uh, there's, uh, there's a really equal footing between the musicians. On the, in the same afternoon you can have somebody who's never played before, then later on maybe somebody like Simon Fowler who's you know, really, really big. I think that we've got a heritage in this country that, uh, you know, without blowing our own trumpets, we should all enjoy. And this is an example of people doing exactly that. So if you've got something to sing about or just fancy soaking up the atmosphere, well, find your way to the Factotum and Firkin in Birmingham every Sunday from 2pm till 6.